All right, all right. All right, we've got a uh, pretty exciting treat today. We've got Johnny Can with us, and Johnny's going to share with us some of his experience with um, high performance business and living. And uh, welcome, Johnny. Thank you. Thank you for having me, uh, Coach. <laughs> It's pretty exciting. So let's just jump right into it. Before before we started, where where were you at? Uh, well, we started in end of July, and at that time, and at that time, was we we're going through the pandemic. I know for myself, just restructuring with going online and really making a transition into. Uh, all areas of my life where there was so much uncertainty, there was so much uh, really focusing on the exterior, on on what's happening and being really, at that time, a mixture of reactionary and being in a place of wanting to build and construct things that, you know, I know that despite what's going on, it, we have these, I have this opportunity to create something really amazing and awesome. Mm -hmm. And but I was I was in a place where you know as an entrepreneur and as a coach myself, uh, you know there's no accountability. You know the the only person that you're working with is yourself. So uh, I didn't have anybody uh, that could not only hold me accountable but challenge me on some beliefs, challenge me on um, you know where where I'm at in this moment. So so yeah. before here, uh, I was remunerating a lot. You know like the the dreams that I that I have and the life that I want to share and create. Uh, I, I didn't have, I have great friends. I have a great community, but when it comes to, you know, having somebody have structure and have like being able to ask the tough questions, I didn't have that. Yeah. I often say uh, being an entrepreneur has, has uh, the great benefit of not having a boss. And it also has the drawback of not having a, a boss to report to and say uh, what's going on. So if you want to, yeah. if you want to have a week disappear and not do anything, that's pretty easy to happen. Especially in uh, in this day and age, it's pretty easy to hide out and be caught up in mm -hmm. distractions. Yeah, and also another thing is I'm a very social person, and with this pandemic, uh, I didn't have that uh, that interaction right. that that I'm used to having. So you know this quarantine where we're sequestered. Uh, I got into some really uh, bad old habits that I wasn't really happy with. And mm -hmm. uh, some of it, it has uh, a lot to do with excuses and some of it has to do with what I've been doing most of my life. And for that to be taken away, finding new and new and challenging ways to really get what I want out of life is, uh, has been, was tough at that time when we started. Right. You've also... Mm -hmm. um done a fair bit of personal growth work in the past and all that. And, and before me, you actually worked with a very high profile company. How does, how does this compare with that? Uh, with, with, uh, with the high profile company and as in, in comparison to coaching with you, right. that's the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I know for myself, um, the, the, the zoom interactions are really important for me um, because you know, the eyes are almost like the seat to the soul. So uh, in the video, in the times where I was, in the times where I was, I was really having difficult times, uh, you know, the, the ability for you to hold space for me uh, was, was really cool to be part of. And uh, I, I took some coaching when I, when I first started this and when I first got into coaching. And I, I found that, um, I found that it, when when you're when when you're working with a company that's fairly big, sometimes some personalization can get lost in the shuffle. Um, I didn't know that until I started working with you, where you know the the questions you would ask, the way you would hold space for me, and the challenges that I'm currently going through and have been going through with moving all around the place right now, because uh, as you know. My father is going through radiation, so I've been back and forth in Winnipeg, and just this stability that that I'm so used to uh, from you know uh, living in one place for a certain amount of time to now this past pandemic, moving four times back and forth between whatever it is to to where I'm now, um, 
the way the way you're able to hold space for me was was very key in helping me not only excel but challenge but also pull myself out of these these uh, these loops that I think a lot of us can can really get into and can be detrimental. So mm-hmm. don't get me wrong, I think they're important to realize and happen, but it's another thing to have somebody hold space like you did uh, for me through this process and continue to hold space for me. So right. um, that's, uh, that, that's really huge. And that the way you're able to do that, uh, I've, I've never worked with anybody like that. And I've, I've worked with 10,000 people in my life as a, as a restaurant manager. So, you know, the, the, the way you, you held space and the way you had the follow up questions and challenging me uh, was, was far greater than, than what I've experienced before. Thank you. Appreciate that. And, and uh, you certainly helped me with that feedback as well. It's some, uh, some future clients might be cursing you when you, you told me that I could be charging uh, two and three times the amount that I do that, uh, that may be affecting my pricing. So, <laughs> Might be, they might be blaming you for that. Yeah, well, you know what? The, uh, I, I, I'd, I'd rather pay uh, full value and get the best out of than challenge my standard norms on what I believe coaching should be. Right. Yeah. We're gonna be, we're gonna be adding even more value for you too coming up. So I'm excited to tell you about that too. So. Yeah. As you mentioned, you're an awesome um, coach in your own right right now, and you know you've uh, coached NHL players and rubbed shoulders with uh, Oscar-winning actors and and playing at an entirely different level. Like, what what can working with somebody like me bring to somebody like you at at that level? Yeah, you know the 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 when when you have so much ambition in life, when you have so much. Uh, outlook for what can go great it's important to have structure and to have uh, goals that are measurable uh, goals that that make sense and also there's a certain amount of accountability uh, on when to get it done so that there's that there is that pressure and also patience to to make sure that it's going in a way that not doing it just for for just to get it done but also doing it to see how you can progress in a way that makes sense for you, uh, for myself, actually. Um, you know, w- another thing for myself is, 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 is having that consistency of something each week that I know I have to present something to show my growth. Right. Um, because there's that, that, that ego that keeps you safe. There's that ego that tells you that uh, you're too dumb, too, too stupid. You came from this town. You, you know, you last time it didn't work, so why do it again? And to have uh, yourself, Eric, uh, who's say that that's that that's not only is that not true, but how can you move it forward to gain that momentum? And uh, man, like what I've been able to experience in these past, you know, three months working with you uh yeah so there, let's, there's let's dig into that so what are some of the tangible results that you've that you've had yeah so on on the relationship side of things my my relationship with my father has never been better Beautiful. um where we're filming we actually filmed our first episode of uh just a tv docu series that we're going to put on uh youtube that just stemmed from my idea that uh you know my father's going through radiation therapy right now and in order for him to and I to experience a relationship at a greater level, I wanted to create recipes and film it. So we've got a whole theme now. We shot our first video. And not only that, but my father is so excited. My father is so happy. There's a new life that uh, there's a new spark that I see within him that I haven't seen in a while. So that's so exciting. Yeah. 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 I saw his little so, dance that you filmed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. And yeah, there's, there's so much, there's even more that I'm going to share with you at some point, but uh, there's moments that, that I can capture and I can really be in full presence um, that not only I can honor him, but I can honor, uh, honor our journey together. I can also honor what's important to me. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any, uh, anything that came out that's going to affect your, um, your business and your income? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I launched a five-week 
uh, group coaching course during this time. And, uh, you know, in that short amount of time, I was able to not only experience it and gain evidence, but I was also able to make some great money uh, on uh, launching a five week course and just getting it done. Uh, I'm working on some other group uh, coaching programs. Uh, I've committed to becoming a healer. There's, there's a lot of things that, uh, that have happened through this that uh, can help me express what my purpose is uh, because you know, I've, I've got big things planned in my life uh, and that comes when I'm able to let go of who I was and, you know, like me transitioning from 25 years in the hospitality industry into what I'm doing now, there's lots of doubt. There's lots of uh, questioning. And, you know, working with you cleared that all up through the, the questions, the, the tools, um, you know, your ability to go at a pace where we're not sitting too much in the, the negative, but we're understanding it and you're pulling me out of it by asking the questions within myself and the level of trust that I have for myself right now and what I'm doing. And it's, it's, it's at an all time high. And mm -hmm. I feel, I feel really uh, inspired and motivated and uh, going to take action. Uh, nice. We did a 30 day challenge for meditation, you know, crush that. Um, man. Yeah. So my relationships with my father uh, have multiplied in such a positive way um you know i've made more money um uh, through group coaching programs which i haven't done yet uh so being able to launch that wanting to do more big things with group coaching um you know and then also just being more present for the people around me and how i can be of service of them and mm -hmm. uh, not making any apologies of of what i'm skilled at yeah. and i've always felt that but to unleash it and to put it into action Mm -hmm. Yeah, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't have done it without you. Seeing that uh, new level of confidence and certainty come through is so exciting. And, and I know your clients are picking up on it and it gives them permission to, uh, to go into that space too. And, you know, it's so important right now in these uncertain times to be a person that can bring that to other people. And, and you're helping those people and the ripples continue to grow. And that's what's exciting for me too, as a, yeah. as a coach that it, it's, it's uh, uh, how I'm able to live my purpose. So thanks for allowing me to do that. Yeah, um, absolutely. Have you had anything like really unexpected, some, some results that you would have thought, well, I never expected that from, from this relationship. Uh, yeah. I, I, I think, uh, first of all, our relationship, uh, has I, I've seen the evolution of us speaking, uh, you know, by text to, you know, I, I think you're going to be in my life for a long time, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, vice versa. I, I hope the, the same thing for, for you, the way you feel that the way with me. Of course, um, yeah. And just uh, in a short amount of time, what can get done yeah. when you have somebody in your life that's trained that's mm -hmm. somebody that's dedicated their their life to a specific task a specific talent a specific expression mm -hmm. you know things can move so much faster when you have support when you have this objective skill that uh, that you have and it, it's evident like in in an hour what can get done and set up for the next week. You you can't you can measure it because that's that's what we do. Yeah. But on the other side of of being a client or a coachee, all of a sudden things are are reachable. Yeah. It doesn't seem like this big big freaking elephant. Yeah, we're able so, to compress time and yeah. yeah. And I say that to you remember that old expression: if you want something done, give it to a busy person. That's right. If, if you want something done, give it to a productive person. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Because busy yeah, just run around. <laughs> yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy. I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so the unexpected uh, aspect of it is our relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, the unexpected aspect of this is the, the expedited confidence. Mm -hmm. I knew that you know we we're going to move through this and, and mm -hmm. be there for each other, and uh, but 
you know, like I went from, you know, like I said, that, that beginning point of just remunerating uh, and, and not being too clear and too certain to being really clear, really certain, making uh, big decisions, big, bold decisions and learning to fly along the way. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I, I think that's the biggest thing is the trust that I have in this process mm -hmm. uh, working with you and, and focusing on the action. That's, yeah. that, that's huge. Yeah. Being bold and, and courageous is one thing, but if you're not, you still got to take that leap. So yeah, yeah. that's exciting. Any, any other um, things you've learned about yourself that are going to serve you? Yeah. I, it's, it's when I get inspired through the word creativity. Mm. You know, I, I get inspired through when it's fun. Right. When, when it's, how can, how can I be of service to others? Um, you know, being really focusing on that rather than I, I must do this or I need to do this or I want to do this. It's like, how can I make this fun? How, how can I enjoy this? You know, challenging myself to, you know, not choose monotony or obligation, but to choose creativity, to choose, uh, and that's the, the a switch of the language, you know? It's mm -hmm. like, we're all doing the same things, but then we change the perspective of that, then all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> let's go, let's do it, you know? It doesn't seem yeah. so, oh fuck, I gotta pick up the phone again, you know? Sorry, yeah. you know, I don't mean to swear here, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and having fun because, you know, I, I choose to be upset about things. I choose to be happy about things. So where are those choice points and where can that come through? And uh, you pulling that out of me has been pretty remarkable. Exciting. All right. Yeah. So just as we're uh, finishing up here, one final question. What would you um, say to somebody that's on the fence about uh, joining our program? Mm -hmm. Well, it depends. Depends on what part of the fence, right? If, if you know what I mean, like <laughs> I love if, it, that. if it's if it if it's monetary, well, you know what? That's that's a belief, yeah. and uh, I promise you that t taking you through the process, doing the work, and allowing Eric to guide you, uh, it's it's something that uh, I could promise that um, you'll never experience other than other than with Eric, and. Uh, if you're on the fence about if this is going to work for you, the, the science behind this program is ridiculous. Um, and you're no different from anybody else because we all have the same, same needs and desires. Uh, how Eric is trained as well as how he's been able to experience his life, uh, you, can't, you can't have anything outside of that. Um, with like with going with him, it's very specific. And if you're on the fence on, um, uh, you know, you're too busy, this is the perfect time to hire Eric. Because if you're too busy, it means you don't have structure, you don't have accountability, and you don't have objectivity. You're not, you might be asking your friends for help, but they're not trained. Eric's trained. And I think it's important to, go with what you trust and how you feel about if you do a strategy session with him, when you listen to my testimonial and you see all the other testimonials, um, the dedication that Eric has to making sure that you come away with a new belief and sense of yourself. Uh, if that doesn't pull you over and onto that side, give me a call. I will tell you why you should jump on, jump and work with Eric. Uh, I have no problem. Uh, given my time to somebody that wants to serve and wants to see other people succeed. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, wish you uh, continued success and looking forward to continuing to work with you and uh, seeing those ripples go out and the people that you're affecting, the lives that you're affecting and through the creations that, yeah. uh, that you're building as we speak. Yeah. yeah, we're just getting started too. That, that's the crazy thing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thanks, brother. Okay, thank you.